More about the standoff in Red Bluff that ended in an attempted murder arrest. Action News Now reporter Chloe Curtis spoke with police as well as loved ones of the victim about what happened. Police arrested Paul Rossetti after a standoff on Kimball Road in Red Bluff. They say he shot his girlfriend right in front of her two little boys. The woman's mother, Barbara Turnbull, was up most of the night hoping her daughter pulled through surgery. They're just trying to address the wounds and once we get the front taken care of, then they're going to look at her spine. So she's just in stable condition, that's all I can say. She's fighting for her life. It was on these steps that Rossetti surrendered to police. The victim's best friend, Christine Tishner, rushed to the scene when she heard what happened. I got the call and I raced out here, screaming and yelling as fast as I could and the sheriff stopped me. And I kept begging them to let me in for the boys. I just wanted the boys because I already knew that she had been shot and there was nothing I could do. So my main concern at that point was where are the boys? Rossetti is still in jail facing several charges, including attempted murder. Tishner and Turnbull want people to know how difficult leaving an abusive relationship can be. First seven or 12 times may not work, but you will get the strength and you will go. There are people there to support you. If you need help, reach out to me. I have your backs. I don't ever want to see another mother or woman go through this again. Woman's family says both of the little boys are safe and being taken care of following the standoff. In Red Bluff, Chloe Curtis, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Now they do say they'll be setting up a GoFundMe to help with medical and housing costs.